and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me right here on Genipoi Actual Speaking. I'm Jennifer Clyde. It is time for Lesson 44 and today let's talk about the weather. Now this may be different according to where you live, but let's kind of focus on Korea so that I can help you talk about the weather in Korea, the climate in Korea with whoever you want to, perhaps in an English interview as well. So when it comes to the weather, what can you mention these days? Yeah, for sure, the weather is crazy. It's becoming crazy. We've had some intense heat and very, very cold, like biting winters, right? So basically, I guess the summers, the heat is getting more intense, the snow is getting higher, uh, the monsoon season or the rainy season is actually getting longer. Hmm, I don't know, you really can't predict when it's going to rain. And also, the spring and fall seasons are kind of disappearing. So let's talk about all of this in today's lesson. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's get started, everyone, with our first segment, which happens to be warm-up. Let's brainstorm the cues with the five W's and H questions. Let's begin with who, as always. So who is most affected by the weather? Hmm. Now, who is most affected by the weather is something you should think about. Are you affected by the weather? Perhaps, if your answer is yes, also you can talk about why. Think about the person who is most affected by the weather. And also this question. Who requires reliable weather forecasts? Reliable meaning you can trust it, okay? So reliable weather forecasts. Who can you think of? Now this may be different depending on the occupation a person has, but think about who requires reliable weather forecasts, meaning reliable weather forecasts. What, oh, who are they important to? Okay, let's move on to our what category then. Now, what are the main seasons in your country? That would be Korea in most cases, right? So, what are the main seasons in your country? In Korea, we would say there are four distinct seasons. So, spring, summer, fall, and winter would be the main seasons of Korea. Moving on, what are the general patterns of each season? So, you can talk about the patterns, not simply just spring, summer, uh, fall and winter, but you can talk about the patterns of each and every season, how they are or what they are like, okay? And also, what is your favorite season? That's a very simple question. What's your favorite season? My favorite season happens to be summer. I love the heat. And what is your least favorite season? Which season do you hate? Do you dislike? Which season is your least favorite season? Moving on to some more what questions. What kinds of unusual, okay? They're not normal. Unusual or crazy weather have you experienced? I think these days, a lot of us, not only in Korea, but all around the world, we are experiencing crazy or unusual weather. Weather patterns, climates, weather. So crazy would be out of the ordinary something that is not normal. So think about those weather conditions that you have experienced. And what kinds of activities do you enjoy each season? That's something fun to talk about. So for example, you can say in spring, I enjoy doing this kind of activity. In the summer, I enjoy going to the beach. In the winter, I love going skiing or hitting the slopes, right? So those are some things you can talk about. What about this? What are you doing to help Fight global warming and climate change. Now, this is everyone's concern. Hmm. That's right. Global warming is a serious problem that uh, people around the world are worried about. So what are you doing? Think about what you're doing to help fight global warming or climate change. What are you doing? So think about those questions as well. Let's move on to when. So during which season? Focus on which season, okay? Are you most active? Now, I would assume if you are a winter person, meaning you like winter, then you're most active during the winter, enjoying all different kinds of activities. If you are a summer person, you may enjoy summer activities, leisure sports or water sports. So think about during which season are you most active? 
And also, when did you experience the craziest weather conditions? Now, we talked about what kinds of crazy weather or unusual weather you experienced, but now, that's right, we're talking about when. So focus on these keywords, when you experienced the craziest weather conditions. Moving on to our where category, where would you choose to live? Now this is if, if you could choose according to the weather. So where would you choose to live, okay? Now this is a big word here. Where would you choose to live if you could choose according to the climate or the weather? Also why, why is your favorite season your favorite season? And also the opposite, why is a certain season your least favorite season? Now how? How many distinct seasons are there in your country? Distinct, okay, particular, very different, very special in its own way. I did mention that Korea, we have four distinct seasons, right? So uh, depending on where you come from, you could talk about how many distinct seasons there are in your country. Okay, and let's move on to this one. It's our final question. How well do you handle extreme heat and extreme coldness. Uh, I would say I handle extreme heat. Maybe not extreme, but I handle heat pretty well. I am a summer person. I love the heat and the sun and the warm uh, temperatures, but I'm terrible uh, in the winter. I cannot handle coldness very well. So talk about how well you handle extreme heat and also how well you handle extreme coldness. So these are just a few of the W, 5 W, and how questions. Now think about more on your own and brainstorm with a partner or even your friends. Since we're done brainstorming our cues, let's now really begin today's lesson by listening to today's actual talk. So Rachel, how about this weather? This weather. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, muggy. Yeah, and it's been raining a lot lately, too. Uh, well, it is the rainy season. The typhoon season. Uh, yeah, it's not my favorite. I don't <laughs> think it's many people's favorite. That's true, yeah. So what seasons do you like? I really like fall and autumn. Fall, fall and is spring. autumn. <laughs> fall and spring. Okay. I really like fall and spring, but mm -hmm. they seem to have very short lifespans in Korea. Really? I yeah. see. I like fall and spring in Korea, but mm -hmm. um, spring in Minnesota is terrible. Why? Uh, because all the snow is melting and it's dirty everywhere, and uh, you get your shoes wet. Yeah. So it's it's not the best time, and it's very short usually. Mm -hmm. So it was snowing in May. Wow. Yeah. Do you not like snow? I like snow. Well, do you have a preference between like winter, summer, spring? Or oh, fall? if I had a, a preference, I would live in a hot country. Really? Yeah, I love the heat. Even though it could be humid? Yeah, no problem. I, well, as a man, it's great. I could just wear shorts, you know. I don't even have to wear a t-shirt, That's right? true. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy being out in the summer. Um, mm. So I'm a, I'm a really, you know, outdoorsy, outdoorsy playful um, run, run through the woods or be, by, be on a lake in the summer. Those, those kind of things make me feel alive. Yeah, so you um, like the summer. Skiing in the winter, no. I, did, Not I never you. got into that. Yeah, you know, I think I prefer the summer too, mm -hmm. especially in places like California where mm -hmm. they basically have just two seasons. It's summer like, and... Like fall or springish kind of, you know? <laughs> so I love that kind of weather. Yeah. In Minnesota, they say they have two seasons. What is it? Uh, winter and road construction. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. That was today's actual talk. Peter and Rachel as always talking about the weather. So what was their favorite season? What did Rachel say? What kind of weather does she like? She likes, I guess, fall and spring weather, which would mean uh, she likes mild temperatures. Uh, Peter also said something very similar. He likes the spring and fall seasons, um, but I think he really, if he had a chance to choose where to live, he would probably choose to live in a hot place, a very warm tropical island perhaps. Let's check out line by line what they said. First of all, uh, Peter began by asking, so Rachel, how about this weather? How about this weather? What does it mean? 
basically means, what do you think about this weather? How about this weather? What do you think about this weather? And he talks about the weather, okay? It's kind of cool. Cool meaning not too cold, not too hot. It's nice and breezy, cool. Shiwon hun, right? But at the same time, at the same time, muggy. Huh. Okay, I think this is, um, yeah, the weather in Korea, basically. It can be cool, but almost always muggy, which means it's very humid, okay? There's a lot of moisture in the air. So it's muggy, it's sticky, okay? It's sticky and humid, it's muggy. Now, Rachel says, yeah, and it's been raining a lot lately, too. It has been raining, meaning it's not just raining today, but it's been raining. It's been continuing to rain, perhaps since a week ago or since a few days ago. So it's been days and days of rain. Now, Peter says it's the rainy season. You may all know the rainy season. It's also called the monsoon season, a season where we get lots of rain, right? Days and days or weeks of rain. And then Rachel says the typhoon season, perhaps, yes. During the rainy season or the monsoon season, yes, the typhoon hits as well, so you can also call it the typhoon season, I guess. Now she says, it's not my favorite, meaning it is not my favorite, the typhoon season or the rainy season. She's saying, oh, I don't like the rainy season. Now Peter asks, so what seasons do you like? Now let's get to what Rachel said. Now, I added this part to today's actual talk and today's lecture because just in case you got confused, I wanted to help you out. Now, first of all, Peter asked, which season do you like, right? And Rachel said, I really like fall and autumn. And then Peter said, fall is autumn, right? Now, which word did Peter stress? He said, fall is autumn, okay? Basically, he's saying fall and autumn they're the same season. Fall is autumn. And then uh, uh, Rachel says, ah, yeah, oh, sorry, my mistake. I was confused. So she corrects herself and says, ah, not fall and autumn, fall and spring. So she corrects herself and says, all right, my favorite seasons are fall and spring. Okay, she says, okay, I understand. Fall and spring, okay. Anyhow, back to the conversation. Rachel says, I really like fall and spring. And then, but they seem to have very short lifespans. So, as we can say something is short, it does not last very long. A lifespan, you can talk about the lifespan of human beings, animals, any kind of species. A lifespan is perhaps the period of something, okay? So if you say, um, yes, spring and fall have very short lifespans in Korea, it means that in Korea, Fall and spring are very short. It's very simple. They have short lifespans. Now, uh, Peter says, I like fall and spring in Korea. So these are his favorite seasons in Korea, but spring in Minnesota is terrible. Minnesota is where Peter comes from. So in Korea, right? In Korea, I like fall and spring, but spring in Minnesota is terrible. It's the worst. It's horrible. Meaning, right, he does not like spring in Minnesota. And then he explains, because all the snow is melting. That's right. Ooh, ooh. And it's dirty everywhere. Okay, it's dirty everywhere. And you get your shoes wet. Oops, sorry about that. So it's not the best time. And he says it was snowing in May. So here he's telling us about the weather in Minnesota. He's talking about specifically spring in Minnesota. So his reason to why he doesn't like spring is because the snow that fell during winter is melting, okay? It's, mel it's melting, it's like slush everywhere. And it's dirty everywhere because the snow is melting. And because the snow is melting and it's dirty everywhere, you get your shoes wet. And he says it's not the best time. It's not the best time. It was snowing in May. All right, let's move on. Now, she asks, do you have a preference between winter, summer, spring, and fall? So this is just another way of asking, which season do you prefer? She says, do you have a preference between A, B, C, and D? 
And of course, Peter says, oh, I would live in a hot country. Now, I would, if I had the chance, if I could, I would live in a hot country. I love the heat. As I said, I love the heat. If you like hot temperatures, you can say, I love the heat. If you like cool, very cold temperatures, you can say, I love the coldness or coolness of something. Now she says, even though it could be humid. Now we did take a look at the word muggy before. I said sticky. Another word is humid. Mm, it's very wet. There's a lot of moisture in the air. And he says, yeah, no problem. I love the heat and it doesn't matter. It could be sticky, but I still love hot weather. And he says, as a man, it's great. I could just wear shorts. That's right. As a man, okay, for men it's great because you could just wear shorts, you can take your shirt off and it's okay, but for women, we can't take our shirts off. So, as a man or for men, it's great. You can just wear shorts. And he says, I don't even have to wear a t-shirt, right? That's true. I really enjoy being out in the summer. Now, he enjoys what? Being out. Being out in this case means being outside, being outdoors. And he says, I'm a really outdoorsy. Okay, let's take a look at these words. Outdoorsy, playful, run through the woods, or be on a lake in the summer. Uh, these are just um, interesting ways, fun ways of talking about what you enjoy. Or he's perhaps talking about the kind of person or the type of person he is. Let's say outdoorsy. Outdoor kind of person would be an outdoorsy person. A person that likes to play, have fun. You can say a playful person. Run through the woods, meaning a person that likes to run through the woods, run around in nature, and also be on a lake in the summer. A person that likes to go to the lakeside in the summer, okay? So he says he is these kinds of person, okay? Those kinds of things make me feel alive. Those, of course, we're talking about all these things he mentioned. So these things, those activities make me feel alive, okay? So he's basically talking about himself and his personality, and also he's talking about why he enjoys a certain season. And then she says, yeah, okay, I understand you like the summer. He says, skiing in the winter? No, 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 no. Skiing in the winter? No meaning skiing in the winter is not my kind of thing. I do not like skiing in the winter. And he says, I never got into that. Get into something or be into something means to be very interested in it, to enjoy it. But he says, I never got into that, meaning I never really mm, had the interest. I never really enjoyed skiing in the winter. Anyhow, Rachel says, I prefer the summer as well, right? I prefer the summer too, especially in places like California where they basically have just two seasons. So she likes mild temperatures once again. So Peter says summer and, and then Rachel, fall or springish. Let's take a look at this. So she likes rather warm temperatures. So she likes spring or fall, but she says springish. What is springish? Spring is spring. Fall is fall, but ish, if you add an I-S-H to almost any word, it means almost like. So springish means kind of like spring. Let's say for example, time. If your friend asks you, what time shall we meet? And you wanna say uh, around 12 o'clock, then you can say, well, 12-ish. Let's meet at 12-ish. You can say, let's meet at 12-ish, meaning around 12 o'clock. In this case, springish means kind of like spring. Got it? And then she says, I love that kind of weather. In Minnesota, Peter says, they say they have two seasons. Okay, this is kind of a joke as well. And so Rachel says, uh, two seasons? What are they? And he says, winter and road construction. So he's just jokingly saying that winter is one of the main seasons and road construction season is another main season. So winters tend to be very, very cold. Other seasons are perhaps a lot shorter, but yeah, there's a lot of road construction going on perhaps all year round. So jokingly, he says winter and road construction, there's a lot of it in Minnesota. 
Okay, everyone, let's take a listen to the actual talk one more time. Be sure to check out the subtitles. So, Rachel, how about this weather? This weather. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, muggy. Yeah, and it's been raining a lot lately, too.、Uh, well, it is the rainy season. The typhoon season.、Uh, yeah, it's not my favorite. <laughs> I don't think it's many people's favorite. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So, what seasons do you like? I really like fall and autumn. Fall, fall and is spring. autumn. <laughs> fall and spring. Okay. I really like fall and spring, but、mm-hmm. they seem to have very short lifespans in Korea. Really? I、yeah. see. I like fall and spring in Korea, but、mm-hmm. um, spring in Minnesota is terrible. Why?、Uh, because all the snow is melting and it's dirty everywhere, and、uh, you get your shoes wet. Yeah. So it's it's not the best time, and it's very short usually.、Mm-hmm. So it was snowing in May. Wow. Yeah. Do you not like snow? I, I like snow. Well, do you have a preference between like winter, summer, spring? Or oh,、fall? if I had a, a preference, I would live in a hot country. Really? Yeah, I love the heat. Even though it could be humid. Yeah, no problem. I well, as a man, it's great. I could just wear shorts. You know, I don't even have to wear a t-shirt. That's、right? true.、Um, but yeah, I really enjoy being out in the summer.、Um, mm. So I'm a, I'm a really you know outdoorsy, outdoorsy playful. Um, run run through the woods or be by be on a lake in the summer. Those those kind of things make me feel alive. Yeah, so you、um, like the summer skiing in the winter? No, I did, not for I you. I never got into that. Yeah, you know, I think I prefer the summer too,、mm-hmm. especially in places like California, where、mm-hmm. they basically have just two seasons. It's summer like, and like fall or springish、okay. kind of, you know. <laughs> so I love that kind of weather. Yeah, in Minnesota they say they have two seasons. What is it?、Uh, winter and road construction. Oh no! <laughs> Let's now move on to our next segment. Check out some great expressions you can use when talking about the weather, specifically the weather in Korea. Okay, so ways to talk about the general weather in Korea, right? What the weather is like normally, regularly, in general. So if you want to talk about how in Korea there are four. Very distinct seasons: spring, summer, fall, and winter. You can say we're lucky. I'm happy. Right? We're lucky to have four distinct seasons. And then spring, summer, fall, and winter. You can、uh, add the details. Okay, four distinct seasons. Once again, it means four very different seasons. You can also say we have weeks of rain during the what? That's right, rainy or monsoon season. I'm sure you all know this. So you don't necessarily just have to say, "Oh, we have a rainy season." That's boring. Make it fun. Add some details. So see, we have weeks of rain. We have months of rain. We have days of rain. When during the rainy season, during the monsoon season. Okay, it's monsoon season. Moving on, we have lots of snow during the month of January. I think it snows the most in January. So. Talk about the weather. In the winter, we have lots of snow. Or you could also say we have lots of snow when during the month of January. So you can say during winter in Korea, or during a specific month or time, we have lots of snow during the month of January. Quite simple. So keep those patterns in mind. Here are a few more. Summers are usually what. Hot and muggy. Now you know what muggy means, right? Muggy means sticky. So sticky is another word, and damp is another word you can use for humid. So muggy, sticky, and also damp and humid. Yes, Korean summers are very muggy. Moving on, winters are generally, normally, what? Freezing. It's freezing. Winters are generally biting cold or nippy with lots of snow. And details, of course, you could mention that, or you don't have to. But winters are generally what? Normally, winters in Korea are freezing, meaning very, very cold. Biting cold, which also means very cold. And nippy is another word that you can use to express coldness, extreme coldness. Let's move on. Now, ways to talk about predictions of weather. Now, pay attention to this. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll clear up soon. When can you say this? For example, it's been raining a lot, or it's cloudy, and you think that the sun's gonna come out. 
You can say in that case, I think it will, it'll clear up, meaning the sun will come out, the clouds will go away, and the sun's gonna come out. Also, we're in for frost. We're in for a major snowstorm tonight. We're in for meaning what? Hmm, something is going to happen. So we're in for frost or a major snowstorm, meaning lots of wind and lots of snow, heavy snow, tonight, okay? You are predicting the weather. You are talking about how the weather is going to change. What about this? I hear, okay, I hear there are showers coming our way. Coming our way meaning coming where you are, okay? Coming to your location, to whichever location you are at. If you live in Seoul, and if you hear that it's going to rain in Seoul now, you can say, I hear there are showers, meaning rain, coming our way. By the looks of it, you look at the weather, you look at the sky, and you think this is going to happen. By the looks of it, the sun might be peeking out any time now. Now, peak what? Peak, what does that mean? To peak. Babies, or I guess anyone, can peek through a small hole. There's a small hole, you peek through it, okay? It means to appear, to slightly appear. So by the looks of it, it looks like the sun might be peeking out any time now, which means I think the sun is going to come out soon. Here we go. Now, they're getting lots of snow down south. So if a certain area is getting lots of rain or snow, you can say they are. That region, that area, that province is getting lots of snow. Also, weather conditions. We can talk about crazy weather, right? Unusual weather. You can say we have had, we've had crazy weather these days, recently, okay? Also, we've had a dreadful heat wave this past summer. Dreadful. If something is dreadful, mm, you don't like it. Okay, you are afraid of it. You wish it won't happen. Okay, you dread it. But what is a heat wave? A uh, heat wave itself means an unusual um, extreme heat. So suddenly it becomes very, very hot, unusually very hot. You can say heat wave. So we've had a dreadful heat wave this past summer, meaning suddenly it got so hot. There was extreme heat. We've had mild weather lately. Remember I said Rachel and Peter seem to like mild temperatures? So if you say mild weather, it means it's somewhere in the middle, not too cold, not too hot. So weather that's uh, just perfect for spring or even fall. Okay, let's check out a few more. Okay, we've had sunny spells these days. Now a spell, think of a magic spell, okay? magic spell, magicians. They put on a spell on people. Now we've had sunny spells these days. A spell itself is perhaps something that happens for a short time, quickly, suddenly, and often goes away quickly as well. So if you wanna talk about how the sun kind of came out and disappeared, but it came out and disappeared, you can say we've had sunny spells these days. We've had gloomy weather this past week, okay? What is gloomy? Gloomy. How do you feel when you say, I feel gloomy? You feel depressed and down. So if the weather is kind of dark and depressing, it's not sunny, you can say, we've had gloomy weather this past week. Okay, quickly, let's talk about having light drizzles. We've had light drizzles here and there, here and there. 이것, 저것, right? But light drizzles, it's like light showers. Gentle rain, for example. We've had light drizzles here and there. Okay, we do have a few more. Let's just check out one more, okay? Now, we've had prolonged rain throughout the nation. Now, throughout the nation meaning all across Korea, all across Korea. In all parts of Korea, what was the weather like? You had prolonged rain. So rain, of course, but prolonged rain is basically you're saying uh, long periods of rain. So it didn't just rain for maybe a few hours, but it's been raining for a long time. You can say we have had prolonged rain throughout the nation, throughout Korea. We've got some more expressions ready for you, so please do check it out on our homepage as our time is up for today's actual talk expressions. Let's now move on to our next segment.
It's time for our idiom of the day, everyone. Are you ready for it? Okay, now I would like you to kind of relax, stretch your legs and arms, and enjoy this segment. But let me begin by asking you a question. Of course, I am going to uh, give you an idiom that has to do with the weather or that has the word weather in it. But how do you feel when the weather is kind of gloomy? Hmm, okay, hope that is a hint or hope that is a good clue. Here is today's idiom. It is to be or feel under the weather. I'm sure you might have heard of this. So here we go. A sentence is, after two weeks of suffering from the flu, I'm still feeling a bit under the weather. I'm still feeling a bit, a little bit under the weather. Okay, so try to guess what this idiom means. The definition in Korean is 몸이 안 좋다. Okay, and of course in English it means to feel ill. You're not feeling very well. Okay, you're kind of feeling sick. So when you say I'm feeling under the weather, it's like I'm not feeling very well. Okay, here is another sample sentence with today's idiom. I'm feeling under the weather. I think I'm coming down with something. I think this is a wonderful way to uh, talk about perhaps when you're kind of feeling sick. 몸살이 걸리는 것 같아요. 어딘가가 안 좋은 것 같아요. 어딘가가 아픈 것 같아요. But you don't know what it is. You're feeling sick, but you don't know what the problem is. So in that case, you can say, I'm feeling under the weather. Uh, I think I'm coming down with something, meaning you don't know what it is, but you know you are getting sick. So please do keep today's idiom in mind to be or feel under the weather. Let's move on. Talk about the general weather patterns of each season in your area. What is your favorite season and why? What are some crazy weathers you've experienced? If you had to choose to live between the coldest and hottest countries in the world, which would you choose? The summer is hot, humid, and rainy. In addition, typhoon passed Korea and it caused tons of damage. The winter is cold, dry, and snowy. The spring and fall provide a welcome relief from summer and winter. My favorite season is fall. Fall is very nice weather for wear many kinds of clothes. That's the reason why my favorite season is fall. I experienced crazy weather at Korea. During kind of monsoon period, the city flooded everywhere. If I choose to live between coldest and hottest countries, I will choose coldest country because hot weather makes me annoying and tired. Especially, I have a lot of sweat. That was a wonderful interview. Chesubin님, 고맙습니다. Thank you for the great interview. Okay, so what did he say? He mentioned that his favorite season was fall and if he could choose to live in a country, okay, depending on the weather, uh, he would definitely choose to live in a cold country, right? So I think he likes cool weather or mild weather. He also did a wonderful job in talking about the monsoon season in Korea. So let's check out Okay, one great point first of all. He said the spring and fall provide a welcome relief from summer and winter. Wow, you know, I was very surprised. When I heard this, when I actually saw the interview, I was like, wow, job well done. This was wonderfully put together. So the spring and fall, they provide, they give a welcome relief. Hmm, a welcome relief from something, from summer and winter. I think you did a splendid job there. Another one, that's the reason my favorite season is fall. So of course he's talked about his reasons and then you can clarify by saying that is the reason why or my favorite season is and then certain season. Okay, let's check out a few oopsies, okay? The first one is during kind of monsoon period, the city flooded everywhere. I do understand what he was trying to say. He was trying to say that uh, there was a flood everywhere during the monsoon season. But during kind of monsoon period, during kind of somehow sounds awkward, you can say during the monsoon period, during the monsoon season, 
or during the rainy season, the city was flooded everywhere. Okay, now here he said the, flo uh, the city flooded everywhere, but if you're talking about a past experience, you can say this is what happened. The city was flooded everywhere. Okay, let's now move on to another one. If I choose to live between coldest and hottest country, I will choose coldest country because hot weather makes me annoying and tired. Now, something makes you annoyed. I think this is a common mistake. Ah, something makes me annoyed. Something makes me annoyed. Now, make a correction there. Do not say that. Instead, try saying this. If I could choose, if I could choose to live or where to live between the coldest and the hottest countries, I would choose. Okay, I would choose the coldest country. Why? Because hot weather annoys me and tires me. Okay, it makes me annoyed. It makes me annoying. Please do not say that. It makes me what? No, it annoys me. It tires me. So please try using this. Hot weather annoys me. Cold weather bothers me. Hot weather tires me. Okay, so I hope you all keep these mistakes and the corrections in mind and hope you don't make the same mistakes in the future. Job well done. So how did you enjoy today's lesson? I hope you had lots of fun because I sure did. Today we talked about the weather, in particular about the weather in Korea. Now as we did some brainstorming with our brainstorming cues, remember we talked about what you are doing to fight global warming or even climate change. I think it's very important for all of us to do our part. Even stores are trying to use environmentally friendly bags or plastic bags environmentally friendly bags in place of plastic bags. So at home, what we could do is reuse, recycle, try to use more cardboard, things we can use over and over and over again. Perhaps uh, choose to take showers, short showers instead of long baths, and try to save energy by turning off the lights during the day when you don't really need them. All right, well, for extra information, I do have some wonderful expressions related to the weather. I'll have it posted up on our homepage, so please do check it out. I think it'll be about two pages of lots of expressions related to the weather, so please do make use of it. Next time, I'll join you back with another great topic, something we all enjoy, holiday activities, so please join me for that. In the meantime, come to our homepage, come find us at www.ebse.co.kr and look for Tinny Poet Actual Speaking. Once again, I'll have the scripts up for you, okay, so make use of them. Until next time, take care everyone, bye for now.